All right, guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. Thank you very much for being a part of the show. We are here with just about 19 minutes actually to go until the top of the hour. And it's enough time for us to uh, dive into some fruity cocktails. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing as we bring you Tasty Friday right now. Here with me is Collins Munanentiga, aka Baby Bird. <laughs> I'm very well, who's the CEO of Taste My Caramel. Karibu sana to the show. You're, you're trained. <laughs> it's okay, it's cool, it's cool. Um, you're a trained mixologist yeah. and a barista from Nairobi Bar School. Mm -hmm. That's true. And uh, how long have you been in the industry? I've been in this industry now for like two years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you now own your own mobile bar. Yeah, true. Tell it's me about that. Okay. Getting to this point. Yeah, yeah. Bar. Okay, so my name is uh, Collings Manene, aka Baby Bird, just like you've said. Okay, now um, this the idea about a uh, mobile bar came about some few times, some few years back. Okay. Okay, so it was I was very motivated by the way uh, on the issue of mixology. Yeah. From way back, like 2016, maybe 15. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then my my bro owned uh, like a wines, you know. Okay. So I could go there, spend some time with him, you know get to know the bar okay. so i loved it i loved how the bar was set up and it really motivated me so All much right. so i thought why not do a mixology okay. because after that i went and did my research and so damn i can make cocktails man and it's <laughs> okay. a it's a good thing because you know it's an art yeah you know the garnishing the what yeah. the what the what nots yeah. it's art okay so and i love art basically why are you calling yourself baby bird Okay, baby bird. Basically, I'm I'm a small in stature. Okay, that's the first thing. <laughs> okay, and so by baby bird, you know, it's a baby bird. Okay. It can be any bird. It can be an eagle, okay. a baby eagle. It can be a baby vulture. So, the bird, uh, you know, it's like you know, boost a little boost to my okay. confidence. All right. Because you know, I'm small. You know, I <laughs> accepted it. You know. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I was trying to blend that into what I like to, to All do. All right. Yeah. Well, that's okay. And now you you you've named your business Taste My Caramel. What is that after? Okay, so Taste My Caramel basically it's the name that I came up with with my manager back at home. Okay, he's called Dennis Kaveru. Okay, so we sat down and uh, thought of a of a name that we could incorporate into the industry like easily. Mm -hmm. You know, when like I have an event and like Taste My Caramel. You yeah. know, it's easy something to the mouth, caramel. it's easy to pronounce. I mean, something, what is something caramel? Something <laughs> easy to, to Yeah, remember. to remember, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it will stick to in people's mouths uh, in a longer time. Okay. So it's like, taste my caramel, you know. It's okay. Like, yeah. All right, well, um, I want you to walk us through, because you're going to be making us a cocktail. You've brought two already. So tell us what are in these glasses here, and hopefully this shot is just fine as it is. But... Um, what I guess are the basics for making a good fruit cocktail? Because this, we're doing non-alcoholic drinks, of course. Of course so of course. what are the basics for making a good fruit cocktail? Okay, so the basics are uh, basically, one, you should try as much. Uh, for an upcoming bartender, I could uh, suggest to them like um, they should utilize the fresh fruits more. Okay. Yeah, they should like go to the market, you know, get those fruits, come back home, blend them, mm -hmm. you know, that fruitiness that freshness is what is needed for right. a tasty cocktail so, so not even frozen fruits no yeah fresh the fresh fruits. one the fresh one from the market you know it's juicy it's sappy yeah yeah it has the content it's good okay yeah all so right yeah so in this first one what's what's in this one so in that first one um it's called the baby it's <laughs> called the baby okay yeah. so it basically has um the uh, pineapple Pineapple the, the juice. The pineapple juice. And mm -hmm. my pineapple, I've incorporated it with the mint. So as you can see, it's a little bit greenish okay. because of the mint, the pineapple. So, so it has some of this, which is pineapple and mint. Yeah. A flavor I love. Mm -hmm. All right. And then there's the orange juice also. Orange juice as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit of sugar syrup. Sugar syrup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then there's the, the lemon juice. Lemon juice. Yeah. That's what's in this glass. Yeah. So it's a... It's a little bit uh, bitter. Yeah, I, I try to incorporate the bitterness. Right, so, so it has more of a tangy taste. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah, yeah. all right. So if you're someone who likes tangy things, it almost looks like kind of quadru juice or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you're someone who likes a tangy taste, then this would be for you. So he said pineapple and mint, orange juice, 
these are fresh squeezed oranges. Yeah, freshly squeezed. Oranges as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you said sugar syrup, which is one part. No, it's like a half part. Okay, so this sugar syrup of mine, it's aromatic. Okay. Yeah, it's not the basic um, sugar syrup. Oh, I have added. What? I have added a uh, aroma in it. There's cardamom and the cloves. Oh, okay. yeah, so it brings that, you know, that aroma that is right. needed, you know. Yeah. Okay, and lemon juice. Yeah, and the lemon juice. So oh, the lemon right. juice is the brings the, the bitterness now. Right, in the it. tang. Yeah. All right. Okay, tell me about this next one. Okay, so this next one, basically, okay, so basically my cocktails, I am utilizing this, mm -hmm. what I have. Mm -hmm. And so this one, it also contains um, the pineapple juice, okay. the orange juice, sugar syrup, mm -hmm. and then the, uh, the lemon, but the lemon now I've used it a little Just bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so that's this one. So this also has this pineapple and mint. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Looks nice and refreshing. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's majorly orange. It's mostly orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So you're going to help us make one now. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me what we need for it. Okay, what so are we making even? Okay, so we are making the melon ray. Melon rain. Yeah, ray, 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 like melon the sun ray. ray. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it has the watermelon. Okay. It has the aromatic sugar syrup. Okay. The orange juice. Okay. And uh, a dash of the lime the lemon mm -hmm. yeah and uh I'll, s I'll layer it up with some coconut cream oh okay mm -hmm. all right we'll get started and you have some cranberry juice as well yeah 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 yeah. Sorry. okay that's cranberry juice in that glass right yeah. there okay so what's the first step so the first step is um you put the watermelon okay okay so allow me to hold it sure sure it's fine three ounces. Okay, so that's watermelon juice. Mm -hmm. And then there's the pineapple juice. Orange? Orange, yeah. You're so fancy with the way you're pouring it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's an art, as like I told you yeah. again. So, okay. yeah, it's something like, you know, okay. teach myself, you know. Sugar syrup in next. Yeah. Okay. And then a um, little bit of this. A little bit of cranberry. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's just a little bit. It's not yeah, much at all. Yeah, Let me yeah, move yeah. this so we can see. And so this a little bit. Did you say this is lemon or lime juice? Lemon, lemon, lemon. Does it matter which one you use? Yeah, lemon it, or lime? It does, it does. Okay, as you've said, there's the lemon and there's the lime. So yeah. the lemon... It differs with taste with lime. Yeah. You know, so that's why they they are incorporated differently. Okay. Yeah. So when do you use lemon and when do you use lime? Okay. Okay. Lemon. Okay. Basically, it's when you're trying to look for like that exquisiteness. You know, it it adds it adds the extra taste. Okay. They can be a little bit bitter. Okay. Okay, but when you use it with the sugar syrup, it. <coughs> It brings a totally different taste, a totally sweet taste. Right. Yeah, it's very sweet to the palate. You okay. Just, yeah, you just enjoy it. Yeah. But now for the lime, yeah. it's used for the, it's like the bitter, bitter. Okay. You know, it's bitter. If you want it pretty <coughs> strong. Yeah, if you want it bitter strong, you just use the lime. But okay. if you want it mild, bitter, or a bit, a little bit of sweet, you use the lemon juice. All right. Yeah. Okay. So then you want to top it up with some, you said this is coconut cream. Yeah, coconut. I've never consumed coconut cream just <laughs> not cooked <laughs> it's okay to do so yeah yeah, yeah it is all right so and you're using your specific about it being coconut cream and not milk yeah okay so that I can be able to layer it on top <laughs> My crew is feeling hungry. <laughs> 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 They're already deciding who's drinking which one. <laughs> that looks really good though, doesn't it? I'd never think to put coconut cream on top like that. Eh, Yawa, Lynette, Julia. Wow, you're just like lathering it on. Mm -hmm. So that it brings the, the layer. You know, the main intention of using the coconut cream uh -huh. is to layer it on top. 
Okay. You know, bring two layers, two flavors in it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Mm. It's very so sweet. So pretty simple, I mean, to make, right? Yeah, it's very simple, yeah. Very combining simple. different flavors. Mm -hmm. You And these are your recipes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how did you come into these, like, okay, so, flavor combinations? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so for cocktails, like I said earlier, it's an art. Okay. So it's something like I can come down. When I learn the basics of about cocktails, I can be able to come up with a, a cocktail for myself. Okay. okay, so for a cocktail or a mocktail, there is a uh, certain procedures that uh, one should uh, consider mm -hmm. the measurements you know you just can't pour yeah. it in you know yeah, yeah. you have the to get the measurements important. right okay. okay and so there's a there's a certain way some some drinks are measured you know okay there's a limit to every drink okay so hey he's still on that coconut cream yeah 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 i'm about to finish still on but that coconut cream I wanted to make the layer th as thick as possible okay. so that it can uh, bring that distinctness between the, the two. So wow. Basically, yeah, that's it. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's something actually very sweet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the garnish. Okay. Garnish, always important. Always important. So he has a, a piece of lemon there that he's just slicing up for this. Yeah. And then you like, just place it on top. Wow. Yeah. Wanna add another slice? Mm -hmm. I don't know what you guys are saying about all this. Let me know if these are things that you try at home. Then I will let you to This is the time to, <laughs> this is the time to experiment with some of these recipes that we've been showing you here on the show. Um, but uh, there it is. Wow. Yeah, with the orange, the lemon inside. Yeah. You can see it. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess you could also do this one where you slice it and have it hang on the side yeah, too. Yeah, Let's yeah. do that. Okay, true. Because the lemon, you might not be able to see it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. So slice Just a piece of lemon. Just lay it on top. Ta-da! Oopsie. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and of course, we'll clean up the side of the glass. But um, that's it. So what did you say this one is called? It's called the Melon Ray. Melon? Ray, Ray. Melon Ray. Yeah. Wow. Let me, let me lift it just so we can show it on camera very well. This here is the Melon Ray. Looks yummy, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> It it's looks actually, really good. Yeah, it's very sweet, actually. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So this isn't that hard. Like, we should be able to do some of these things at home. And if we prepare the juices in advance and store them the way you have, it, it can be pretty quick, right? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty quick. You just put on the proportions, you know. Yeah. Yeah, have your numbers right. Oh, oopsie. We lost oopsie. our lemon. We lost our it's lemon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. But, like, and it's best not to mix in advance, right? Like, you save the mixing of the different yeah. flavors just before you serve yeah just before i serve so that you know it don't it doesn't become watery it doesn't right. become soaky you know yeah. you need it fresh yeah. and ready to drink like thin and thin how so, long do you think one can preserve these in the fridge for yeah this it can go for like a week or so okay like this yeah separate yeah. like this okay so these drinks there's another way you can preserve them mm -hmm. you just like put a small little proportion of vodka Vodka, oh. it helps in preservation. It, re it preserves longer. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. W when you're doing a vodka? A little bit. You know, vodka is recommended one because <laughs> of the shelf it's life. Like it increases the bit. shelf life. Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> not too much. Not too much. Did you cut it? Did you cut it? It's not a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. So how can people find your, your, your mobile truck? Okay, so I am on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, Twitter, you know, basically all over, all, all everywhere. Yeah. Okay, so you can uh, catch me at Test My Caramel Facebook. Okay. Test My Caramel Instagram. Uh -huh. Test My Caramel Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Do you usually go like beyond the city or are there certain parts of town that you're based in? Oh, just the city. I'm okay. just doing it around the city for now. Okay. And then when uh, I get the chance to grow, now I can get out. Okay. By the way, um, um, the, in regards to Test My Caramel, Okay, my dream is to like spread everywhere, you know, okay. 
that uh, you know you hear test my caramel in Eldoret, you yeah. know in Kakamega, in Coast. Yeah. So that is my main aim right now. Okay. I'm trying to push it, to push it uh, market-wise, yeah. physically, you yeah. know, coming here and everything. Yeah. So that's my my intention in life. That's okay. my goal. Yeah, to reach it out. Okay, to also create an academy where. Oh. But for now, I have a team. Okay. I have a test my caramel team. Look at they you. Are, yeah, they are very able. They're very professional. Okay. So yeah, it's a. It's like a small crew, yeah. I have them to my heart. No, you uh, started from somewhere. That's great. Yeah, I have them to my heart. Yeah, yeah. So if anyone wants to reach out, I have a team. Yeah. So just in case I am caught up, yeah. there's a team, a okay. very professional team okay. of mixologists, yeah, and baristas also. So let me get this straight. With the with the truck, the mobile truck, it's a truck. Yeah. It's basically a truck. It's like a truck mm -hmm. because, like you know, you go I move, around, you yeah. move around with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, are there certain days that you're in certain places that what was Jipange? Okay, of course, history Kisha, but you know, when when they can sort of come and say, oh, this week you're going to be in Kasarani at this time on this day, or does it? Does, is there like a calendar of stopovers or something? No, 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 no. Basically, idea <laughs> I have a fair idea, but uh, <laughs> what I do is uh, like um, I wait for the call. Okay. You know, when you hit me up, I come. Oh, okay. But, but I have a, <coughs> I have a shop, like a station okay. in Kasarani, okay. Emmanuel Court. Okay. Yeah, basically I'm there. I make my cocktails there, my mocktails there. So if you want to come physically, you can meet me there. I'm there, but um, basically I move around. Okay. That's what I do. There's so no specific around, calendar. So for like... Uh, like someone is calling you for an yeah, event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do Udani, events. Unive, melon, melon re, mimi peke yangu. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly for events. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I do events. I do birthdays. I do engagements. Okay. I do basically parties. All right. So yeah, any kind of party, just hit me up. Great. Well, yeah. thank you so much for coming on to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you. I've been talking to Collins Munene Ntiga, a.k.a. Baby Bird who is the CEO of Taste My Caramel. Asante Sana for sharing these cocktails with us. Now I'm going to go to the studio and I'm going to I'm not looking at anybody, but I'm going to go With that said, guys, I do want to thank you so much for your company today. Thank you again for being a part of the show. And uh, let's do this again tomorrow as we wrap up the week in style. And uh, shout out to the entire crew as well. Until then, God bless you. Stay safe. Wash your hands as always. And we'll see you soon. Ciao.